Hey guys, so if you ever watched the streamer on Twitch or YouTube and they have their capture card set up to where it's all the way across the room with their PlayStation or their Switch or their Xbox and they're losing all chat interaction because they're having to have their camera set up like this, but their face is all the way over here playing their video game, you know. It loses every chat interaction you could possibly imagine other than them having to just look over like this. It's terrible. Don't do this. It's not a good look. With this video, I'm going to show you how to add your capture card to your OBS so that you can actually play the game full screen on your monitor without needing any TV at all. It's going to be super simple. You can also view chat. I'm going to show you a video at the end of this video to where you can add a chat overlay so that you don't have to look at any secondary third monitor at all. I have one monitor I use for everything and it's worked so far. So guys, let's go ahead and get on with this video. Real quick before we begin, I am GS Sphere. I am a content creator on both Twitch and YouTube dedicated to bringing you the best possible stream tips, tricks, and tutorials. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you with the Avermedia Gamer Live Mini. I have tried this on both my Avermedia as well as a Chinese knockoff $20 capture card. It's worked for both of them easy peasy no problem okay guys just to start from the beginning we are actually going to have to plug in our capture card to both our capture device and our actual computer so i'm saying like the playstation the switch the xbox you're going to need to use the hdmi in port of whatever capture card device you are using i'm using the aver media gamer live mini so once you do that you plug in the hdmi in to the capture your device and the console and then the usb part is going to be plugged into the actual computer so once you get to that step we're going to come over to the obs obs live or streamlabs obs either one of the three all have this same function so once you do that you're actually going to add a video device doesn't matter what you call it you're the one that's going to be setting up all the properties of it so once you do that you are going to right click the properties you're going to change the device to whatever capture card it is. I'm not going to activate mine just yet, just because I don't want to hear the PlayStation noises in the background right now. So once you do that, you're going to change the FPS. Chances are, if you have a crappy or a cheap uh, capture card, it's going to be 30 FPS. So you might have to change that if you've never used it on the actual computer so far. And with the video format, I have mine as MJPEG. Some capture cards don't allow certain video formats and it'll kind of do like a psychedelic color on your screen i can't really replicate it on this one but i have a cheap chinese knockoff that i have and i just don't use anymore that did that if i didn't have it on i think yui2 or something so then you can change the color space on the color range which is basically how many colors are going to be actually shown on the screen i have mine 709 and full now once you activate it so let's go ahead and activate this. You probably hear the PlayStation 4 noises in the back. If you don't, it's okay. Could just be how the PlayStation is. But if you don't hear any noise in the background, chances are you don't have this clicked on. The use custom audio device. Once you click that on, you're gonna change the audio device to microphone, whatever the capture card is that you're using, which will actually enable you to hear the audio in the background so once you do that, you're going to click that on and chances are the actual capture device. If you're just brand new to using it, it's going to be way, way too loud. So we're actually going to take that down to wherever this is on the actual capture device so that it's not blaring in your headset or whatever speakers you're using. So once you do that, guys, you're going to come here and then full screen projector it. Or you can window projector. It doesn't matter. Either one. After you do that, it's going to show the actual screen up. So, boom. Go ahead and move that up. And now you can play your games easy peasy on your one monitor setup. It's super, super simple to set this up, guys. Let me know in the comments if this video did help you. And also, make sure you stick around because in the next video, I am going to be showing you how to add a gamer chat overlay so that you cannot even have to 
look away from your monitor to actually read the chat while playing video games. I love this. I use it. Like I said, I use one monitor and I've never really had a need for a second monitor whatsoever, guys. So stick around, watch that video. If you're not subscribed, consider hitting that subscribe button, the notification ding ding so you don't miss any more videos much like this. So peace.